Insta360 has just released their brand new Insta360 X3. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the new Insta360 X3 functions, features, and if you can still use it as your main mode vlogging camera in 2022. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Insta360. Thank you, Insta360. Woo! It is not a review or a comparison video. I will release a long-term review in a few months time though. Let's take a closer look at this thing. You'll notice straight off the bat that the X3 now has a big, delicious 2.29 inch tempered glass touchscreen. It's awesome. Not only can we easily see what the camera is seeing, but navigating around the menus and making adjustments is super easy. Plus having larger font means that you can dial in settings quickly right at your fingertips, even from a distance with ease. The large screen definitely makes life a lot easier. Also, the unit now vibrates and in an intuitive way. You have the standard vibration when you power on or off and start or stop recording, which is extremely helpful for us moto vloggers. And I'll show you why in a bit. And you also get feedback when scrolling through settings and menus and making minor adjustments. We have the power and quick menu buttons on the side. The quick menu button is super handy. Once you press it, you can add a custom preset so you can easily access it later and quickly. For example, if you wanna switch quickly from 360 degree mode with a vivid color profile and a white balance of 2K with an EV compensation of plus four to single lens mode with a log color profile and auto white balance and EV comp to minus three, you can do so in a single tap. It's super easy to set up as well. Just dial in what you want, hit the little plus icon and bammo, you have your new custom preset, which you can easily access anytime, anywhere, anyhow. We also now have the start stop record button on the bottom left with the lens button on the right. The lens button comes in handy if you'd like to quickly switch from 360 degree mode to dedicated front or rear lens in a snap. Then we have the battery compartment on the left with the micro SD card input and a USB-C port for charging and accessories, which we'll take a look at shortly. With its powerful processor that's powering the fancy new half inch sensor, we get a boost in quality in both photos and video, especially when in single lens mode and me mode. What the hell? is me mode. <laughs> with the new me mode, you can now shoot invisible selfie stick shots at 60 frames a second without reframing. Let me give you an example. Insta360 sent me this massive selfie stick. Look at this thing. <laughs> that is gigantor. So that's when it's all folded up as well. And the standard size of your normal selfie stick is 120 centimeters, which is, which is that length here. This, It's three meters long, three meters, man. So this is like, this is perfect for cars and everything. I've never actually tested this out. So we're gonna do this right now. I'm gonna stick it on here. It's in me mode now. Let's go for wonder in super duper, super, super duper long mode. Look at that, whoa. I've never seen my office from this angle. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Let's go under here. Ooh. No need to reframe, whoa. This is straight out of the camera. Me mode also concentrates the computing power to produce better image quality, which is better than 360 mode. And we're back. That is absolutely crazy. That, this is huge. <laughs> it is so long. Never before have invisible selfie stick shots been possible without shooting in 360 mode first and then reframing later. This is the first time that they've ever done this. It's dedicated, it's fast, it's easy. Me mode, it's me mode. The new Insta360 X3 now has the loop recording function. I remember quite a few of you had asked me in my previous videos if you could use the Insta360 as a dash cam, which you could by just recording your ride and then deleting all the footage later. But now with the new loop recording function, we can choose the amount of time we want to record before it starts to override itself from one minute up to 30 minutes in length. Let's just say, for example, we set the loop to be five minutes. This means that after every five minutes, it'll begin overriding the previous five minutes so that you have the steady loop, which means that you'll basically never run out of memory. If there is an incident that you'd like to capture and save, then all you need to do is press the record button to stop recording and it'll save the previous five minutes. When you hit record again, it'll create a new five minute loop recording. This function doesn't only need to be used as a dash cam function but maybe you're just waiting to capture something epic and you don't want to burn through 500 gigs of memory before it happens see your loop on once you caught yourself a bit of epic content hit the record button bammo you've saved it you're a you're a lord you're genius people love you okay now we're getting to motor vlogging territory this is the mic adapter for the insta360 x3 super simple it is a 3.5 millimeter jack input as well as a usb-c input for charging the device with the adapter fitted remove the usb-c charging port door and firmly press the mic adapter into place there you have it you can now fit any 3.5 millimeter microphone into your new action camera 
Just take note that with the door off, it is now not waterproof. A little tip for you, if you can see a little orange speck where the door latch is, that means that the door isn't closed properly. You wanna make sure that that is nice and closed and that all those little orange little specks are gone. That means it's waterproof again. You're welcome. How you'd like to mount it to your helmet is completely up to you. You can fit it up on top or on the side, but you guys know me, I prefer the chin mount. Without going into too much detail, all helmets are different. I use a generic chin mount adapter with a bunch of action camera arms to mount the X3 in a suitable position that isn't going to obscure my vision. It's probably the biggest safety point is to make sure that it's not gonna be sticking anywhere in front of your face. Also, check your local laws as well because some places don't accept any sort of mounting of action cameras anywhere on the helmet. Just plug in your mic and set it to the new single lens mode which gives you a field of view of more than 170 degrees. We are now ready to test if we're actually able to motor vlog with the new Insta360 X3. Absolutely you can. Holy crap, look, we're doing it right now. And this is straight out of the camera, guys. Single lens mode, vivid color profile, 4K, 30 frames, unedited. In fact, all the footage that I've been using from the Insta360 in this video is completely unedited. It's straight from the camera. This is how good it looks. It's pretty good. I'm really happy with the colors. I don't think I need to... Get out, mate. I don't think I need to grade these, this footage anymore. I used to always want to grade my own footage, like for uh, action camera especially. But I'm actually staked. This is, it's nice and punchy, it's not too over the top. It's, uh, it's nice and smooth and feels fantastic. Now the vibration feature, obviously it's incredible for us moto vloggers because when we hit record or power on or whatever, straight on our helmet, on the camera, you can feel it vibrate straight through your helmet. So you know the damn thing's recording. It's so good, it's actually the best. Uh, so yeah, this is it guys. This is it, hope you like it. Single lens mode. <laughs> An issue in the past while using the mobile app was the time that it took to either download your 5.7K footage from your action camera to your mobile device via Wi-Fi or the amount of memory it took up on your device, remembering that one hour of shooting in 5.7K 360 degree mode uses about 64 gigabytes of data. The absolute best workaround is by using this little nifty accessory. It's the Insta360 Quick Reader. All you have to do is remove the micro SD card from your Insta360 and put it into this little guy. Then stick that into your phone and you'll automatically be prompted to open up the app and begin editing with no Wi-Fi connection needed. Open your media gallery and choose the clip you'd like to edit. From here, you can change your aspect ratio, the signature Insta360 function, where a 16 by nine YouTube video can be turned into a nine by 16 reel or TikTok video in a tap without losing any quality. Once you're done editing, you can bring it into the shot lab where you can add some cool fun effects like sky swap. Simply choose the 15 second video you'd like to use and watch the magic happen. Hit export once you're happy and the video will be saved directly to your photo album. And the beauty about this is that nothing was downloaded to the app. It was all stored on the memory card. Another bonus with the Quick Reader is that if you'd like to edit more videos on the fly throughout the day from your phone, you can just bring the Quick Reader with you and leave your camera at home nice and safe. Also, let's just say you have a memory card in this and you have a memory card in this, and then you plug the Quick Reader into the Insta360. The Insta360 will automatically pick up that there is a memory card in the reader and it'll use that memory card first which is super handy. Let's just say you're shooting something and then you wanna just quickly edit something, stick this on there, quickly film it, pull it off, stick that into your phone and set this to record while you're still editing on your phone. You know, you could just, it's just quick. Links to all the accessories are in the description below. You can pick up the new Insta360 X3 right now for $449.99 US or $799.99 Australian. If you use my affiliate link in the description below, you will receive a 120 centimeter selfie stick for free. It's not the big guy, not the monster guy, but 120 centimeters, it's his standard guy. And know that you'll be making this content creator super happy as I do receive a small kickback from every purchase made using my affiliate link, which helps me enormously. So thank you so much in advance for your support. The Insta360 X3 is the perfect action camera for motorcyclists, whether it's capturing your Sunday ride with your mates, motor vlogging, especially with the new vibration feature. Oh, it's so handy, it's so good. Or using it as a safety dash cam, the X3 has you covered. If you're concerned about the screen getting marked or damaged due to its new size, Insta360 are releasing a screen protector in the near future. A few crazy action sport people out there that just wanna go ahead and do crazy action sport things. So what are your thoughts on the new Insta360 X3? Will it be making its way into your camera bag with all your other action cameras? Well, let me know in the comments below. See you guys in the next vid, peace. And it's actually called the Insta360 X3, not 1X3, like the 1X2 and the 1RS and the Insta360 one inch, one, one everything. They got rid of that, <laughs> which is heaps better. Insta360 X3, boom, fast, sharp, uh, just, just like the camera. Hey, you like that? 
yeah, I'm here. I'm here for a while. <laughs>